Hello. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining in. Anybody who's watching in post. Um, yeah. Let me get this game up. I've been waiting for quite a while to uh to play this game. Vampire. Vampire. And I've heard quite a bit of bad things about it, but it looks really cool. I can't wait to actually fucking play it. Can you see it? I can't tell. Yeah, you can see it. Still here. Warning. Even, in based on, even if based on proven medical knowledge from 1918, vampire sometimes takes liberties when establishing possible links between specific theories and supernatural creatures. For theoretical purposes, in other words, do not try to cure any disease with any of the recipes shown in the video game. And no rats were harmed during the making of this game, the vampire team. Oh. In Vampire, every action you take can have consequences. This game uses an auto-save system. Whenever this symbol is displayed on your screen, an auto-save is in progress. Please do not close the game when this icon is displayed. wa dee 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 Yes, yes. We know. Vampire. Now, control. Is it exclusively Xbox controller? That's kind of disappointing. What if I do this? Hopefully that didn't change anything. Okay, cool. Is there not an option for LPS4 controller? I guess not. something if this is default compatible. Currently updating NVIDIA GeForce Experience right now. I thought I already did that earlier, but that's cool. Guess not.
Why did that open? I didn't want that to open. Why? I don't care. Okay. What? Play Vampire with low challenge, this will cut an important part of the experience, but will allow you to enjoy the story and explore with a little danger. Oh, okay. You will not be able to change difficulty mode during the playthrough. Character progression is faster if you kill citizens. Combat difficulty is lengthened to the number of citizens you kill. Oh. In this game, difficulty is tied to you. How many citizens you kill? Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under Crown of Stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Oh, the voice actor, Four yes. nails piercing the flesh What's of the name? sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. It is perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. It is perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness? But lurking sun. What is wall but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? I wish I could remember names. I swear that's the voice actor for. Uh... A lot of things, actually. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. Notably a amnesia. Snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. going that way. I guess I have to. Thirsty. 
so thirsty. I guess I have to. Hello. Oh, it's someone I know. breathing. What's all this about? Shit, where it come? Now I can defend myself. Kill the thing! Over there! Fuck the Who are you? Stay back! Sorry, but you left me no choice. It was there a choice? Maybe I could have just ran past them. Beast. Hello. Bye. <laughs> hmm. What the fucking fort? Oh, hello. Please stop. Oh, <laughs> missed me. I need help. Die, you fucking leech. Please, 
Listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! ah what in God's sake? I'll do the rest ah, of the job. Ah, ah, just, just leave me. Ah, ah, ah. The hell was I burning at? Who the fuck is with that guy's jacket? It feels like it's burning me to the bone. Oh, it's getting day. Uh, I need to find somewhere to hide. Stop right now! Let me go! E uh, ah, whack. No. Look at <laughs> it's it's like me. Go away. I feel like I have to go there, but I can't progress because I have to kill this guy or some shit. Nope. Nope. Leave me alone. I need to find shelter. What are you? It's locked, all right. Man, I was hoping for one of those not locked doors. Maybe like this one that says keep out. Is anybody there? This seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. I mean, sure, I guess. What's this? Whoever did this to us, I will find them. Mm. Oh, hello. The fuck? Gross. Maybe I should burn it. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Picking the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him a leave. Me? Impossible. Hmm. Yeah, how the hell did it get over here? But don't mind me just stepping on corpses. Hmm. The sun is high. I cannot leave now. Hmm. Neither. Hey, wait a minute. I see a reflection. much to accomplish like what I still have so much left that needs doing go on what do I need to do 
Ooh, five shillings. Why do I have a reflection? That's ah, probably different kind of empire. Or maybe I'm not far gone enough. lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We oh. fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. Never got easy. Hmm. Let me get another watch. Oh. I see. Oh. Local investigation? Bloody Diary. 15th of October. Bad sleep. Becky coughed all night and the fever, ma fever made her delirious. I heard a loud noise in the morning. It's a big machine some men brought by the banks to dig a hole in the ground. It was some sort of mechanical shovel. Maybe I could go there and ask for some work. Becky needs medicine. 16th of October. I talked to the men with a mechanical shovel. They told me they are digging mass graves all around London. Safety measures, apparently. If there are, is there a new epidemic? Is the flu coming back? They had no work for me. Becky slept a little last night. The foundry had been closed, and there are no more jobs nearby. 19th of October. I went to London to find some groceries and drugs. No trains. Took me a whole day to cross the damn Thames and come back. Becky seems better. I made a soup she ate. I found no drugs, only a few syringes and some sleeping pills on the black market. We have no money left. Maybe I could go to the Pembroke Hospital tomorrow. But it's so far. And I fear leaving my wife for so long. 19th October. Becky threw up the meal a few hours after she ate. She is so frail now it makes me cry. She says she hear... She, she hear voices outside at night. She says she wants to eat meat. Where could I find meat? Tomorrow I'll barricade the house to protect us from looters. 21st October. The men with the mechanical shovel had stopped digging the mass grave. I heard shouts last night as if they were attacked. Now there are only a few boats throwing bodies day and night into a giant hole. The smell is terrible. We should have left the house a week ago, but Becky, she refuses to leave. She'd rather die, she said with a nasty smile. Why is she torturing me so? 22nd October. Becky just attacked me. She jumped on me from the stairs and tried to bite me. I had to smack her, but she smacked me back. I went upstairs and locked myself in the bedroom. Now I can hear her crying and mumbling downstairs. I retrieved the gun I hid in the ceiling since the war to protect the house. Now I'm using it to <clears throat> now I'm ready to use it to protect myself from my own wife. Twenty third October. I could not sleep at all. Uh oh. 
What happened? That was weird. Why did it do that? <sighs> Becky spent the whole night scratching at the door, asking for my help. Begging me to let her in, but I was too afraid to open it. I'm just waiting for her to die now. It won't... It would not be long. I pray to God it will end soon. 24th of October. I was so hungry. I tried to go downstairs this morning. Becky was sitting in the armchair by the chimney. She was panting like a dog, looking at me without moving, just following me around the room with her eyes. I pointed the gun at her sore face, but she did not react. I could not pull the trigger. I went back to my room. 25th October. The house is silent like a tomb. No more noises. Becky is dead now. Forgive me, my love. I was unable to save you. I will be with you soon enough. So that's what happened. That explains that. Hmm. I guess she got bit and started to turn into one of those things, but without any food. And I guess maybe with the sunlight paired, her face kind of turned to that. I don't know. Either way, it looks gross. Fire and sun new collectible. Oh. Leeches do not fear the sun or fire, but they do not burst into flames or ashes when they are caught under rays of daylight. But it hurts them good. Really good. I have personally chained a vampire to a tree to see what would happen when the sun rises. Its skin blackened in a few minutes as if it was burning from the inside. Its eyes and flesh melted and I saw its unholy bones move and squeal as the beast tried to escape all day long. In the end, only a desiccated corpse remained, which started to slowly regenerate when the sun disappeared behind the horizon. I cut its head off to finally destroy it, and when I tried the same test with fire, the bloody leech never came back from the ashes. Fire is our weapon of choice, brothers. To burn the beast is the best way to kill it for good. From Know Your Enemies by Carl Eldritch. Bruin Leader. Hmm. So, like, I can go out, just I'll be hurting a lot. <laughs> That's what, uh, that's what it's telling me, uh, is what I'm, like, getting from that little biddle. I think I got everything, maybe? Not entirely sure. Pretty sure there's nothing else left right here. Let's see if I can, like, go outside, even if it's burning. It's probably not gonna let me, but I'm gonna try it again. I had better remain here until nightfall. Alright, so how do I, like, wait until night?
I'm in a stable condition, but I definitely need health soon. Alright. I'm sure I'll be fine, but... Huh. Odd. Is there nowhere I can rest or something? Let's see. What are the controls? Maybe I can. That's all I wanted. I don't have I wish I had my controller I can't exactly do anything like that hello A bottle of alcohol Is there nowhere for me to rest? Ah, obviously, the bed, of course. This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. from here to eternity. Probably wasn't the smartest idea, making myself lose more blood for me to want to drink more. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Beds allow you to evolve and rest. Spend experience points to level up and improve your vampiric skills. Hmm. You drain your own blood to heal normal and activated damage instantly. What? <laughs> you mean like for other people? The vampire uses the power of his blood to heal normal and aggravated damage, increasing his flesh, nerve, and bone regeneration. With time, this vampiric ability can be extremely powerful and is sure to surprise any unwary vampire hunter. We think of vampires as immortal, but if you can block their unnatural regenerative capabilities, they are, mo they are more vulnerable than you think. Hmm. Oh. 
Nato. What is this? Blood spear. You throw a spear made of blood, which can pass through enemies in front of you. Place a cloud of shadows at the target's feet or or yours. The cloud will explode after a short time, causing heavy damage. Oh. Uh, close range strike that will cut through all living creatures in front of you. Hmm. I kind of want the shadow mist. That sounds cool. The vampire concentrates shadows around their prey to make them explode after a countdown. This explosion will injure anything in range with needle-like living spears. Vampires often use this ability to wipe out groups of enemies from a distance. They think they can challenge us with their tools, but no one can defeat the shadows. Go. Cool. Yes. Oh. Voice in my head. If I'm not mad, then it must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Oh, Yeki. Eternal thirst reach north bank. Can I, like, drink my own blood right there? <laughs> That's a weird crack. Where is it? It's closed. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Yep. How do we get up there? Whoa. My head's spinning. <laughs> How do I do that? I don't wanna. I cannot enter. Now dodge like a vampire. E. E. Used stakes. Often weapons can be used by pressing bar. They have attacks with special effects and consume stamina. Ooh. Fancy. G. I don't know what that is. I'm still in Southwark. I must reach the there. West End. There's one of them. Oh, hello. Let me alone. I know why not. I just want to live, it's please. It's locked, all right. Yeah. Bye. Oh no, no, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Can't touch me. Oh, what's this? Your king and country need you. Join the British ranks and tell the brave lads at the front. My poor sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us.
Thing is very pretty. It's locked. Obviously. This <laughs> is despicable. Now that you have blood press two from the leash, the damn hurts. I have this thirst for blood. I cannot enter. I wish I could just hop over there. The dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. Hmm. It regenerates really quick. Give me a blood again. This is despicable. I'm not done with you. Better than draining the blood of humans, I suppose, right? What will London have to say to me? I think you already heard what they had to say. I have so many questions unanswered. I think you should stop worrying about it. And just like, try not dying. Oh, hello. Money. I need to get cleaned up. streets of London become a mausoleum. Hello. The man has been drained of all blood. But I can still smell the scent of it. Hmm. I follow the sense trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Maybe. Ah, cool. Oh, majestic floor for a wee bit though. Oh. Fresh blood. The Whoa. smell is so strong. That's kind of cool. This is a slaughterhouse. It's locked, all right. Hmm. Oh no, it's a tiny hand. Oh no. Or is it a tiny hand? Ah, uh, it was just a tiny person. I heard a rat. Where's the rat? Lemon salt and grease. Ah. All right, can't go in water, that's cool. E, e, e. Hmm. Oh, hello. Got a screw, got some grease. Very pretty. <laughs> I 
I should probably get back to the trail. We'll go, we'll open up those other doors after. Something dire must have come about. Hmm. Of course. I open a door that was unlocked only to find the second door that has been locked after. Wonderful. Where has everyone gone? Ah. According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that must be the killer's trail. Oh. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Delicious. Oh, a new highlight. Interesting. Wait, so I can just explore this place and just... Is it kind of like a GTA thing or like a, uh, what he calls it? No, 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 no. Not Bloodborne. Never mind about that one. You just found a new hideout. Here, you can spend your experience while resting or craft items at the workbench. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Handle part, common trigger part. There's blood down there. On a workbench, you can craft medical treatments to heal sick citizens. Ooh! Serums to boost your stealth. And weapon upgrades to improve and customize your weapons. Neato. Glass vial, quinine, so I am a, uh, I am a medic for, like, the military, or I was before. But now, I'm a vampire, but I still want to save lives, I, I, I guess. Well, that's kind of cool. How do I get down there? Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna take off my stuff. Hmm. Too hot. That's totally fine. <laughs> Where is the V-Sync? I guess there is no- Aha! Okay. There we go. Now it's not doing that weird thing. At last, a 
little life. Whoever he may be, the killer recently entered this bar. Maybe some of the locals saw him. I wonder why the trail ends there. Hello? Hello, sir. Are you alright? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. Hmm. Well, how do I do this thing? Oh, I thought I just chose the little circles. My bad. What's going on? What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic, and now all these terrible murders. Uh, what about the murders? The murders? What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. This is horrible. Some say the sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. But now he's killing in the streets. Well, what about the epidemic? What have you heard about the epidemic? It's a Spanish flu. Yeah, killed so many last summer. <laughs> Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. Hmm. What, what is, is this place? place? This is Tom's bar. A turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina, if you want to know. Are you guys always open at night? Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just I've other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I'll best check on them. <laughs> I'll leave then. Thank you. Hello there, sir. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. I have very polenotic mannerisms. Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened in decades. You murdered someone. I blamed a sewer dog, eh? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Enjoy your drink, sir. Oh, my God, sir. You look like well. Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, oh, grab a chair and get some rest. This is going to be another long night. Long night? Mm -hmm. Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? Oh, 
Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. <laughs> Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. <laughs> I'm going to sneeze. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. I need to meet that man. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just and climb sniffles. the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir, uh, yes? no funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Yes, yes. Is it the shirt? I hope I live long enough to You again. Life. What can I do for you? Uh, actually, I wanted to know um, what you had to say about this place. Where am I? Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir, the turquoise turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. So you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. Hmm. How Thank very you. kind. Goodbye. I should just ah. run as far away from this place as I can. Man, I wish my PS4 controller worked with this game. It's locked, all right. Apparently, it only works with Xbox controllers for some reason. I couldn't seem to find a way to look at the controls without it showing me like an Xbox controller. Which is a little weird, considering that it has full controller support. I hope I live long enough to this is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. <laughs> They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? Maybe. You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. Who are you? Oh. I mean you no harm, saith the vampire. Present yourself. I, I am. I need a word. With anyone. Perhaps something I can do for you. Reminds me of this one vampire movie. I forget what it's called. And who might you be? I don't know. I'm not sure that I know anymore. Might I at least learn the reason of your presence? That's none of your concern. Mm. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire, like you. I'm a victim too. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Maybe I can help you. 
What do you know? What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Boy. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. And what exactly is this brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. Perhaps. This is all new to me. I'm not even certain what I'm looking for. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Hmm. Productive conversation. Too bad I'm not personally able to do that on my own. Oh, hello. How you doing? Is that him when he was younger? Or maybe his son? Hmm. Alright. Well, I can't find the trail anymore for that woman, apparently. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know Damn something. I think disturbs me. Interrogate the locals? I see blood over there. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city. Hmm. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. What's this? Some sort of note. Ruin orders, 13th of October, from G. McGollum. To Docks Patrol. Object, multiple deaths in the Docks region. We believe a nasty leech has evolved. Locate the beast, purge it, and quickly. Warning, according to recent reports, this vampire is very tolerant. Approach this... <clears throat> Approach with extreme caution. I know we lack men in this part of town, but I don't send rookies to investigate the case. I think you might be hearing double. Maybe. Hopefully not. If I'm correct, we've got a frenzied one killing each night. As always, search abandoned places first, like old houses, basements, sewers, or warehouses. Destroy the leech.
Was left to bite a stunned enemy. Biting an enemy provides it with blood to use skills and also refills your health gauge. Sure, why not? <laughs> How about no? E. <laughs> Should I just, like, leave you? You're not- Press V to spot enemies around and disable- display their enemy cards. Okay. Some enemies are more resistant to certain types of damage. There are four types of resistances. Melee, ranged, power, uh, blood, and shadow. Hmm. Orange indicates a medium resistance. Red indicates a high resistance. Okie dokie. Ah, so I can also fight vampires, it looks like. Ah, bullets. Equip and press to use your ranged weapons and inflict both standard damage and stun damage. Be aware that your ammo is limited. Ammunition crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. So... Then if that's the case... I wonder if I... Uh, if those guys count as citizens, because it says that um, difficulty will rise if I uh, kill citizens, but are they considered citizens if they're just hunters and attackers? Oh, hello. What is this? Top of me. Oh, hey. Rude. Now, how the heck do I fucking get the other weapon out? Go away. I'm trying to figure out buttons. How do I get my gun out? Screw it, I'll just leave it like this. Bink! Bunk! Bank! <laughs> Give me that sweet, delicious blood. <laughs> that takes care of that. What are you talking about? Ah, I gotta learn to dodge. Hmm. 
got about three of them down there. We have this one right here, and this one over there. I get on top of that thing right here. Ah, so close. Looks like they can hear that. Let's be on your way home. They them. Watch yourselves. Oi. Well, I don't have any more bullets for that. That's cool. Rude. He's done for. This would definitely be a lot better with a controller. It's definitely more optimized for one. Now, did I leave anything out of in here? I don't think I left anything that could have been useful. Whee! I'm a little shadow. Alright. I got a new gun. So close. I didn't mean to do that. New tactics, new tactics. I know that some of our companions consider that the best advantage we have in our fight against leeches is that they can't go out during the day. Thus, we can hunt them down while they hide, powerless in their sleep. This is a rookie mistake. First, because vampires are clever, and they have countless ruses and tricks to avoid being spotted in their den. Second, because they deploy many deadly traps to kill any intruders in what they consider their most precious sanctuary. It would cost us too much men and too much time to explore and eradicate vampires and their hideouts. The best tactic is to follow and destroy them when they really are vulnerable. When they hunt at night, it is much easier to attack them then, for they can easily be spotted. <laughs> That's why the guard of Pruin must evolve and deploy new tactics to hunt leeches. Small and mobile patro patrols. Tactics based on tech technological advantages. Blech. Technological advantages. Modern communications. We can learn many things from the war in France. New strategies, new equipment, and new weaponry. Grenades with phosphorus, ultraviolet light. Bulletproof vests and flamethrower. Flamethrower. It is time for the guard to embrace the 20th century. From a new war by Geoffrey McCollum. Pray when later. Ooh, hello. Thank you. Rats are often located near hideouts. Using senses that will help you locate them more easily. I already figured that out because I'm a genius. I'm not done with you. I will drain you of all of your blood. Come here. Come here, little rat. Come here. Alright. You get to live. For now. There seems to be a blood trail here, but another one that leads right in this area. Another hideout. Hmm. You have enough components to improve one of your weapons. Oh. And that would be... Select a melee weapon to upgrade it. 
Do I have to upgrade this one, or can I wait till I get enough uh, stuff for, like, maybe another melee weapon? Maybe I can have one that looks cooler. You can upgrade your weapon to a new level with the required ingredients. It will inflict more damage, and you will also gain access to customization slots. That's damage. That's handling. Common machete. Ah. Oh. So I now have a used one. Sure, why not? Enhanced damage by enhanced handling. Decreased stamina consumption by 10%. Ooh. I don't know if that's much of an improvement, but with enough upgrades, I'm sure it will be pretty nice. However, that damage, though. That damage do be damage. Do be do be damage, do be do be damage, do be do be damage. <laughs> it did a little dingling song. <laughs> that's what I imagined when I heard it, but that's definitely not what was going on. Hard biting increases the damage inflicted when using the bite in combat. Ooh. Faster generation, increase your life regeneration while using bite in combat. Oh, that is also pretty nice. Hmm. Only have 750 experience for right now. Big thirst, increase your blood absorption when using bite in combat. Ooh, that sounds really fucking good. Increase your blood capacity. Hmm. Increases your stamina, increases your health. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I feel like this would be a lot more beneficial for now. But, since I had 700, I can also get this. Confirm. That's all for now. The following night. Mm, spooky. Okay, Doug. E. Rats. Give me your flesh, your sustenance. I will drain you of all of your blood. Back here. You're safe for now, for I am not able to reach you. But once you leave that spot, you're all mine. So every night it looks like they come back. Oh, hello. Bye. I'll be taking them sweet shillings back. Delicious shillings. Ah. Ooh. Rude. over there, but it looks like there's another body around that area. Fresh I can go blood. There the whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Hmm. Oh, hello. Lead rod. Why, thank you. 
This game is pretty neato so far. I kind of like it. Really like it. <gasps> oh! Oh! Fuck! Two handed weapons, equip a two handed weapon and press R to use its special ability. The scythe, for instance, can be used to parry an oncom incoming attack, inflict heavy stun damage if timed correctly. Ooh. Yes, please. Can I have. Can I have you? Oh, yes, please, let me equip it. That's totally fine. Now, how do I uh, do the thing? Uh, how do I take you off? Now, how the heck do I, uh... How do I do the thing? Like, I want to swap to my two-handed weapon, but I don't know which button that is to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Every time, I always forget. There we go. That's what I wanted. Can't stand it anymore. This place reeks of bloodshed. This I think you've had enough. Is bedeviled. I must put it down. Ooh, you're fast. Oi! You fucking twit. Ah, frick. Ah, frick. Enough of that. Enough of that. Oh, I tried parrying. Well, I guess I can't parry that one. <laughs> now it's my turn. Ah, uh -uh. enough of that. I really wanted to parry that. <laughs> uh, uh, no, what? Uh, I dodged that. There's someone alive around there. William. Oh, you're still alive. Stop. Ah. Hello. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. <laughs> Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well. Another lost soul. A kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must hmm. return to my flock. They'll stray without me. Here you go. Remember, how sharp was that wood? Every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by scowl? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you like me? 
Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Hmm. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, sir. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Well, that's a lot of bodies. Unnecessary amounts of bodies. But I saw something right there. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Hmm. Now where were the notes at? Torn page, torn off page of a diary. For looking away when they mock my color, I hate myself. For crying like a girl when they insult me, I hate myself. For swearing like a boy when they're gone, I hate myself. For hating my parents, I hate myself. For smiling when customers call me sad Bruna, I hate myself. For never finding the courage to tell Tom how I truly feel, I hate myself. Hmm. You just discovered a hint. It reveals a secret about a citizen of someone related to him. Sabrina Cavendish. Citizen detail is a vampire you need human blood to evolve. The blood quality bar indicates the experience you learn if you feed on this citizen. Oh. Unlock hints increase the amount of experience. Okay. Hmm. Board the boat. Uh, can I not go up there and follow that lady or do whatever? Got an achievement, something done. I, I didn't notice it much. This place has so many candles and bodies. Taken by Where the Paris is a little of an understatement. Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was. What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What? Who is she? What woman? 
Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. <laughs> were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stoll, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. How, Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. Mm. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. Are we going to get this dagger to a physician? Or help him? I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. Hmm. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? I definitely could use some of those clean clothes. It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I love the music. It's Dr. very pretty. Swansea, thank goodness, I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. He needs a blood transfusion. <laughs> he lost quite a bit. Yes, Doctor. Or, you know, a lot Dr. of food. Reed here has just returned from the front. And he order. served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. <sighs> Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Enough of the handshaking. Help that guy. Wow, look at my fancy clothes. I'm like a fucking professor. 
or like a really cool medic. Sir. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. <laughs> all right, all right. Sorry. I am in pain here. Guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. The blood quality indicates how much experience you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more experience you get. To drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from others. Your mesmerized level must be equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. Press Q to mesmerize clay. to embrace the clay clocks or spacebar to release it. Embracing clay will provide a massive experience boost, but we'll only be aware there will be consequences. Learning more about citizens and collecting their hints will increase experience gain. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. So how do we help them? Oh, I feel giddy. How do I help them? Did I black out? Did I hear them? It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. Hmm. Perhaps. But with enough rats in London, I'm sure there'll be a way for me to survive. At the very least. This must be the hospital. Pembroke Hospital. Ah. It's very pretty. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. There's the healing Already bit. making the rounds. That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. The poor thing was in quite a state of shock. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. 
Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Okay. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Second floor, left, last door. Due to the influenza, this hospital can no longer take any patients. Hospital fool, please go back home. Hello. Glass file. Is there any loot around here? I guess not. you say? Offer for what? Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't <laughs> judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. So about your life in London. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything. And it's getting worse every day. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... Too long, I guess. I bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital? That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, Doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Hmm. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know, and by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. <laughs> I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Hmm. Oh, he has a shotgun. All right, that'll be enough for now. Good evening. I'm Dr. Nathan <coughs> Ray, the new surgeon here. <coughs> Dr. Swansea has already told <coughs> you, sir. What? I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? 
It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. <laughs> They're definitely going to need it. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. So, what about your life in London? How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. Hmm. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. <laughs> Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Hmm. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Hmm. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Y'all got any loot? I know you guys are done and all, but like... I'm sure you won't mind if I like take some loot, right? Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Hmm. Oh, hello. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival inconvenience you in some way, Dr. Aykroyd? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swansea's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. <laughs> wow. If you have a problem with me, Dr. Ackroyd, please feel free to tell me. Dr. Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking anyone's advice. The benefit of his position. But I don't agree with it. I know we've never met Someone's in a lot of pain right now. But I believe this hospital could use all the help it can get. You will agree with that, I'm sure. Oh, but I have heard about you, Dr. Reed. Of course you can't say the same about me. Since I have not wasted my time courting the press. Aren't you too old for such jealousy? It really won't do you any good, you know. Don't be ridiculous, Dr. Reed. A simple glance is enough for me to know you have nothing for me to envy. Since your tenure in this hospital is longer than mine, perhaps you can tell me more about this place. Let's just say I'm tired of the carelessness around me. I have always respected the skills of Dr. Swansea, but over time, his enthusiasm has become displaced. Carelessness? Exactly what are you talking about? We're here to save lives. The people who trust us are not volunteering for experimentation. They're here to be healed. I don't intend to run any radical experiments, Doctor. Even if I, as any good practitioner should, express an interest in pushing the boundaries of medical research. Modern medical methods were created through audacity and ego. But there are rules in our line of work, and they're here to protect our patients. 
I don't know what you've heard about me, but I have already proved my value as a practitioner. I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive. Is it money? Fame? Or are you truly dedicated? And what exactly is that supposed to mean? I served in the war just like you. But unlike you, I did not use the wounded to play the modern sorcerer. Be careful what you insinuate, Dr. Ackroyd. I only want you to admit you used those men to improve your theories. This is ridiculous. My blood transfusion technique saved many lives, and you know it. You see? That is exactly what I hate about people like you. You avoid this kind of accusation instead of facing reality. It seems you have bad memories of your military service. I refuse to see this industrial slaughter as scientific progress. War only reveals the worst in men. We can at least agree on something, Dr. Ackroyd. Hmm. Thank right. you for your time. We'll talk later. You know, I think that I will uh, save the rest of this. Um, maybe I should explore a little more. Good evening. There could still be more people I'm Dr. to talk Reed, to. The new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need no blood. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howard? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me. For I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. <laughs> Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? I'm puny. Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? All right. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. <laughs>
Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injury, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Hmm. How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars, if you get my drift. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. <laughs> Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. Hmm. As a vampire, you can force a citizen to reveal information thanks to a hint you have discovered. Hmm. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. <coughs> How close are you to Miss Hawcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. <coughs> a normal person. Aren't you afraid? <coughs> she may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless, I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. Mm. Her arm busted on the outside. But she's still beautiful. Living proof that there's hope for me. So do you let her bite you? You know that's not sanitary. And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain, it's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing patients. Then it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. You do realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Kotar Syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. And frankly, if I could, I'd join her world. It seems much more fun than the real one. Mm. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. You disgust on every street corner. The daily Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place, and he refused to let me go. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Hawcroft. You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul searching for light. Mm. 
Do you know Tom Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. Hmm. What is the general situation in the East End docks? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers' trade union. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show, with the assistance of her minion, Booth Digby. Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. I have had this nickname for so long, you know, the sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint, not even criminals. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Oh, wait. Hello again. What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks. And I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really, but I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke? Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Mm. Did I see anything in here? Probably not. If I had, I probably would have taken it, wouldn't I? Ah, turns out I haven't. If that is all then, then I will head on to my room upstairs, unless there's things on the right I can do. And that's the second floor, this is the third. Second floor, ah. Okie doke. So then that one must be my room. Alright, Dr. Swansea. I won't bother you right now. <clears throat> Seems to be a lot of blood here. Used hacksaw. Is it a melee weapon?
What is? Interesting. T. Elwood's medical file. Patient Thomas Elwood, male, age 28. Followed by Dr. Tippett's status convalescence. Date of administration, September 16th. Date of release to be determined. Notes. The f patient's face has been heavily burnt and disfigured by a bomb during the war. Even with the use of the strongest sedatives, he affirms to regularly endure a severe pain from the wounds, as if the flames are still burning up from under the skin, he says. Examinations of the cicatrized tissues show no trace of inflammation, infection, or swelling. Scars are clean. Could it be a case of persisting nerve damage? The patient never ceases to blame himself for his disfiguration. Could it be a case of guilt of the survivor? Phantom pain manifesting as a punishment for not dying with his comrades. Hmm. Got a new hint for him. More dialogue, I suppose. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. <laughs> the flower's dying. It needs water. We got water here, right? I would like to improve on this one. Hmm. I need three common handle parts, looks like. Now where am I gonna get those? I really love the light. It's pretty as shit. Flowers dying. It needs water. Is there a way that I can water it? It's locked. Dr. Tippis, Dr. Strickland, and Dr. Ackroyd. Hmm. So then, what is up on the left area over here? What seems to be the third floor, but marked as the second? Ah, oh, yes, that is correct. Ah, that is right. In London Town Place Land, they have floors differently marked. Over here in America, we are. We have floors labeled from first to being the base of the of the structure, and then on up. Doctor Swansea's message. Dear Jonathan, I asked Nurse Crane to secure an office for you on the second floor. Please forgive the austere uh, declaration, but Pembroke Hospital is not exactly the Ritz. Sorry to let you discover your office alone, but I need to sleep a little before going back to work. I'm just a mere mortal, after all. <laughs> I also gave orders to let you rest, and for the staff to never enter your room. You will be able to sleep all day without being disturbed. And work at night without raising any suspicion. I'm afraid the place is quite messy. <clears throat> but you'll be able to conduct your experiments here at your own pace. You'll also notice there's an open window and a scaffolding that will allow you to enter or exit the hospital without being noticed. I imagine how awfully new and disturbing this all must be for you. Believe me, I have studied enough of your species to understand what you must now be facing and feeling. Be assured... I'll do whatever I can to help you in this ordeal. Know that you're not completely alone facing it. I'm glad I met you. These dark times were we are all presently facing. I hope our future collaboration will yield great results. Welcome to Pembroke, my esteemed colleague. We shall talk soon. 
Yours sincerely, Edgar Griffith Swansea. P.S. I left a copy of some of my notes concerning what I have discovered about Aircon in the last few years. Please feel free to read about it if you need some guidance. As long as you don't use this knowledge to take advantage of me. Article on Ekans. It is a rare opportunity and almost a privilege to approach a vampire, to observe their most intriguing physical and psychological traits with a scientific and rational eye. Here are some of the most fascinating abilities I've personally observed over the last ten years while interviewing a few vampires, or Ekan, as they prefer to call themselves. Supernatural Speed. A vampire can act and move like a mortal in all his actions, but the trained eye will spot that they have the keenest senses, and can react quicker than any mortal. On a few occasions, alarm, surprise, necessity to flee, I have seen a vampire move so quickly, it is almost as if he had vanished just to reappear somewhere else. The human eye cannot follow their movements when they act so quickly, but... It is not like a teleport or dematerialization, it is only a supernatural speed. Hmm. For me, it is a cat-like attribute, which allows them to run, dodge, or jump longer and faster than us. I also notice that such speed seems to exhaust them, and that they are bound to physical limitations. Mesmerism one of the most powerful abilities a vampire can deploy is the capacity to force a mortal to obey them. I call this trait mesmerism, but it has nothing to do with the mortal ability to alter a, a subject's mental state. A vampire can bend a mortal to their will, and they can even break a mind. <coughs> <coughs> a vampire I interviewed even told me the more a subject tries to resist, the more permanent the damage will be. As if the vampire could literally fracture their target's psyche. The same vampire explained to me that this ability required time to master, and that the result could vary widely, uh, vary widely from subject, uh, one subject to another. Implant a false memory, erase a painful one. The possibilities are endless and frightening. Blood awareness. This may be the most catastrophically ability of all. Concerning vampires, since it is the cause of so many tragedies for them and us, vampires crave for blood. They must use their will to restrain themselves from frenziedly drinking every drop of blood that they can see. They need blood to function and to express their full supernatural traits. A famished vampire can be very weak, even if he cannot die of hunger or thirst. This urge, this Need for blood may explain why a vampire is so aroused by it. A vampire confessed to me that blood could sometimes blind him, since its smell and attractiveness can be strong. When he focused focuses a when he focuses, a vampire can almost see blood all around them. Inside warm bodies, through walls, on a supposedly clean victim, a uh, clean weapon, etc. The same vampire even told me that he can see if a mortal has clean blood or is ill. And that in some cases, he can even sense disease, infected, infected clothes, or even items in a room. If this is true, it could have so many medical applications if it almost beggars belief. I got a frickin' sword! What is this? Why am I loading? <laughs> oh, new clothes. Neato. Oh, my sword. 
This ancient sword with a Latin phrase engraved on the blade has been forged in Wales during the 16th century and belonged to Paulus Arilanios, a founder of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole. Legend says he had this blade forged before he chose the path of exile and left England with his people. Dragon's Bane has been passed to each new primate of the Brotherhood and maybe have <clears throat> and may have been used in secret ceremonies. When a primate was sent on a path of war to defeat a hostile creature, the Sacred Sword was supposedly lost during the schism between the Brotherhood of, and the Guard of Bruin in the middle of the 19th century. It seems a few copies may have been made, but this is the true and original Dragon's Bane. Neato. Ah, a bludgeon. Neato. I don't even know I picked it up. Large scythe blade mounted on a long wooden stick. Fucking wood parry. I don't know, I kind of like the scythe. Attack speed is 5, though. If I could somehow manage to increase the speed of this weapon, I'm sure it would be quite useful. But... I don't believe I'm going to save it around here. What have I got in here? Blood barrier. <clears throat> you create an invisible barrier absorbing direct damage until it fades or it is destroyed. Huh. It costs nothing. Interesting. Coagulation. <coughs> you will block all your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. Hmm. Interesting. I think this would be a lot useful. Increasing my stamina. Barrier. It also seems pretty damn useful. And... Hmm. Vampires afraid of suffering damage are familiar with the hardiness ability. This blood ability will protect the vampire from direct damage. Unfortunately, it does not stop them from being grabbed by enemies. <coughs> you can hurt my body, but only if you can catch me. Hmm. Ah, I see. That seems really useful. I think I might swap the uh, Shadow Mist for the Blood Barrier. The Vampire will concentrate on the prey's blood, stopping them in their tracks and making them defenseless. It's easier to kill someone that can't move. Oh. The target's blood will now burst out of their body, flowing towards your mouth to feed you without touching your prey. Hmm. That also sounds very useful. I think I might want this one then. Nah, nah. 
Yeah, I think I'll go with this one. Are you wearing a hood over a hood? No, wearing a hood over my headphones. That's why it's really big. Definitely gonna keep this. The following line. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I was actually going to get off. Uh, this is, um, I had this since I was maybe somewhere around 16. I just never bothered putting it on ever since, uh, well, ever since the day that I, like, wore it over in, uh, New Mexico. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off, uh, it was, it was a short stream, about two hours, 30 minutes, but, you know, it would be a lot better if I could play this game with a controller, and apparently my PS4 controller doesn't work for this game, and only an Xbox controller is usable, is what it seems, and I won't be able to get my springs up until, um, <clears throat> I think October 30th, apparently, which is really whack. I'm going to need to buy a controller, a replacement controller then. I don't want to wait that long. But yeah, thank you for, for stopping by. Later.